AITA for recording my arguments with my girlfriend to protect myself in family court, my girlfriend and I had a son, and when he was born, I was running a small business from home, so I took care of our son while my girlfriend went to work during the day. My girlfriend started to feel resentful because she wanted to be the one staying home with the baby, but she couldn't provide an income while staying home during the day to watch the baby, as I was able to do. Things started to get tense, so I moved into the spare room and began recording most of our arguments and important conversations in preparation for family court and a possible custody battle. I stayed in the spare room instead of moving out of the house to avoid the appearance of abandoning my child since I was the primary caregiver at that time. We lived in separate rooms for about eight months when she invited a family member to the house, which led to an incident where I had to call the police and file a protection order against that family member. In response to my filing the protection order, she filed one against me and had me removed from our home. It was a challenging situation that she created, but I had recorded everything. Unknown to me, after I was kicked out of the house, a custody hearing was scheduled a month later because she had secretly filed for custody months earlier. This was all part of her plan. My son was appointed a guardian ad litem, and I was able to present my side of the story with hours of recorded evidence, which I organized into a clear, easy-to-review package. Since I had been my son's primary caregiver up to that point, and the videos clearly showed that I wasn't the cause of many of the problems and that I was a good father who wanted to be with his child, the guardian ad litem informed my girlfriend that he would recommend to the judge that we split custody 50-50. A few days before the custody hearing, I sent the video package to my girlfriend. Neither of us was represented by a lawyer, the only person with legal representation was our son. While waiting in the hallway for our hearing, the guardian ad litem pulled us into a conference room and we agreed to a 50-50 custody arrangement, which was what the guardian ad litem was going to recommend to the judge. The custody hearing was incredibly fast because neither of us had to say anything. The guardian ad litem told the judge that we had worked it out in the hallway, and the custody order was set at 50-50. It was an open arrangement, with no specific terms or days, leaving it up to us to figure out. A couple of months later, my girlfriend tried to file for child support, discovered she wasn't eligible, and attempted to change the custody arrangement, but the mediator wasn't having any of it. The mediator scolded her for even trying, telling her, this isn't how that works. Overall, my actions secured me 50% custody, and I don't have to pay child support. We are co-parenting relatively well, but she remains angry and upset that things didn't go as she had planned. She thought she would be able to remove me from the house, make me an every other weekend dad, and collect child support from me.